Yo, what is up? This is Joe King John 74, and today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Ace 21 CQB. I'm going to tell you guys some strategies and tips also on uh, when to use it and when not to use it because it is very important here. Because the reason why is because there's another gun almost named the same as this gun. Because this gun that I'm currently using right now on your screen is called the Ace 21 CQB. There's another gun called the Ace 52 CQB. And I did show that gameplay a few weeks ago. So make sure you go back into that other gameplay to see the huge difference. Now, the big difference is that the Ace 21 CQB, the current weapon that I'm currently using right now on the gameplay right now. And also a little bit of a timeout. I did kill myself with my, with my own grenade three times in the whole gameplay. Three times. One of them or two of them will not show up right now in the gameplay because I actually cut the video. So, yeah, just letting you guys know. Uh, before you guys laugh your ass off well i think you guys already did anyways um the ace 21 cqb the difference between the ace 21 cqb and the ace 52 cqb is that the current weapon that i'm currently using right now on your screen the ace 21 can actually shoot better for long range the ace 52 which i showed later like a long time ago guys like uh like maybe like a week and a half that weapon can actually shoot pretty much deadly from medium range and that's that's how i pretty much have it set up over there with that other gun so uh, that's the huge difference now the thing is with this gun the ace 21 cqb you cannot you can barely trust it from short range and medium range it is kind of bipolar every one of the four times that you shoot which is kind of bad i mean like imagine you sh you miss one shot all right you miss the next one you make the next shot and then you stop shooting and then you sh start shooting again and then bam you miss the freaking shot like one out of four times it'll do that it'll become very freaking bipolar from medium range and short range so um but you can trust it though you can still trust it and uh, you should be able to get some kills here and there and the reason why is because of the the the, the side that it has it's called the coyote side now this is very important to know the coyote side versus that other side that's that's pretty much round and uh, pretty much gives you like a concentrated shot of one person now there's a huge difference i want you to use the coyote side on the ace 21 cqb why because it will give you more uh vision that's pretty much what's going to give you and it's going to make you concentrate from from short range to long range on, on, on enemies enemies because that big square allows you to see uh more stuff around there and you can switch like very quick now that other round side i forgot the name of it um it only allows you to concentrate only on one guy and if and if you aim from short range and medium range you're gonna miss like every single shot because you're only concentrating on only on one guy so it's better to concentrate on many guys with this gun because the, it, the rapid fire on this gun is pretty much good it's great it goes it goes by real quick and that's how you end up wasting your animal because it just shoots really quick so the rapid fire the fire burst on this gun is pretty much great so uh it allows you to you know almost take down people in short range but aiming down the sights um becomes very bipolar but the rapid fire is good though so yeah i mean it does have almost everything you want on a gun it's just that uh, there's only one little problem, you know, that bipolarness makes this gun very liable out there. So, but anyways, you know, I mostly use this gun for rush uh, game mode and also for the conquest because it's pretty much open field and everything's long range. That's the best time to use that gun, guys. I recommend it. I recommend to use it on big open spaces because this gun's going to give you that kind of accuracy. I think it's because the attachment that I have, you know, the, the one that allows you to be very accurate from the first bullet, you know, I think that's kind of why though I'm not sure but you know I got to think about it um, the gun is very goddamn accurate just letting you guys know it is very goddamn accurate for long range you can actually take out like around I'll say like around three people if they were like standing from long range you can actually take them out like three like three of them and also I don't want you guys to add the silencer on this gun it's no good like believe me um, the gun actually becomes more weaker it, it is a huge difference compared to the, to the other guns out there. It's a huge difference, you know, compared to the Type 95. You know, I already explained to you guys why it's a huge difference. Because uh, the silencer, you know, it becomes very, I don't know, different depending on the gun. It becomes different. So, uh, the effect it has on this gun is that it, the bullet drop increases more and the damage goes way down on this gun. It doesn't become as powerful as you see it right now in your gameplay. Like... I don't know if you guys saw in the beginning of the video. I took out like, like around three guys in the beginning. If I would have had the silencer, I wouldn't actually take out like one guy in the next guy would have taken me down. So I only, only got like one kill instead of getting all three of them. So it does make a huge difference, guys. Believe me. I used it with a silencer. It is quite terrible.
So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, remember about the sites. Do not use the circle one. Use the coyote site. It's called the coyote site. Uh, you guys already saw my attachments, you know, in some parts of the video. Use those attachments because that's the current weapon. That's the current attachment that I have on this weapon. It's pretty much helping me out out there for long range battles. So, um, and it's deadly accurate. It's deadly accurate. It gives you like a great view on the field and uh, it pins points your enemy like perfectly, like right there and then. So, um, trust this gun for long range, but for short range and medium range, you're gonna have to decide whether yes or no. And um, all I'm asking you guys to keep your distance. Just keep your distance. You should be able to take out like a lot of enemies like that. So, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, the fire burst is great. Long range. Um, you know, the attachments that I have, make sure you keep an eye on them. Um, the sight. You know, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, that's pretty much what makes this gun pretty much cool and, and great out there in the battlefield. And it's a winning gun in the carbon rifle division. That's what. That's one thing I forgot to mention to you guys. This is from the Carbon Rifle Division. Or I'll, I'm probably gonna end up putting in the title anyways. So uh, at the end of the gameplay, guys, I ended up going like 20 and 8, which is still good. I killed myself with, with my own grenades like three times. So I think I was supposed to go 20 and 6 or 20 and 5. You know that was supposed to be the final score, but goddamn, I killed myself with my own grenade. Don't worry, guys. I've gotten worse in Call of Duty. I actually flashed myself like a few times here and there in Black Ops One, back in my Black Ops One day. So uh, so yeah. It's not the first time. And, um, you know, I'm actually good in those games. So, anyways, uh, just leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. If you guys got any questions about any guns out there, let me know. Just, uh, so, I'll see you guys later and enjoy your day.